What would happen if you could modify your turner to turn your glasses like this? What would happen? Okay, this is brand new to me. I don't know if it'll work, but you're about to find out. So I'm gonna deconstruct how I made this turner arm so that we could attach two glasses and try an upside down, right side up method. Stay tuned. <laughs> I've also got my hair in a bun so that I don't end up with resin in my hair again, like last time. Mm. That was fun. First thing I did with my tumbler turner when I bought it from Amazon is I removed the arms that came with it. I cut them and I added a coupling with um, a fitting that would fit into the end of the arm and it has a threaded opening on one side. Then I took a half inch coupling with a male threaded end and a smooth female end that could be screwed on here. And then I have something very versatile that I can use for all kinds of things. Then a small piece of half inch PVC. So this might be electrical um, conduit, but it just fits into the smooth end. And then you just have a quick connect here. Then this is a, a T fitting. You can find this in the electrical section. They're very cheap. This just goes on the end. And then another short piece of half inch PVC on both sides. And then you have a two part fitting here. Did add some rubber, rubber shelf liner around my arm. And this helps to secure that pool noodle on here and it's pretty secure and that's that i'm going to use still ks resin but i'm going to use liquid stone so this is a little bit thinner it's a longer working time so the resin will have a chance to flow a little bit more and try to blend some colors I'm not quite sure how I'm going to apply it. I think I'm going to leave the, the turner off. So I'm going to do one side with colored resin and one side with uh, alcohol ink with a, a clear base and then alcohol ink. So I'm going to mix my colors first and I'm going to use this Sesso really pretty aqua just going to take probably what amounts to about a half a teaspoon and put it in one cup. And then my KS resin, liquid resin dye in turquoise. This is my favorite color and I've already pre-shook it earlier. And I'm going to add, it's kind of subjective depending on the opacity that you want. I do want a pretty solid color. So I've added in probably six drops. I'm going to just go ahead and use this one and I can add white to whatever's left over in my cup. And this is an experiment y'all you're along for the ride. So that is my base layer of the clear. Um, Still have a little extra in the cup for the white, so I'm going to leave that one. Maybe just go ahead and let's add the white. And this is why I have so much resin on this bottle is because I handle it with my resiny hands. But I'm going to put um, one, two, let's just do three. Well, that ended up being four. That's all right. My, um, my tiles here to catch any drips. I already got one there. I don't know. I just like to collect the drip on some cool things that maybe I can do some art on later. All right, we're going to use various blues. I think I want to start with this Pixis Sapphire and Pixis Cobalt. 
These are really, really pretty colors. Oh, I already like that part right there. Can't really see it. Wait for it to come around. This right here. That's really cool right there. I think once we add some pearl, we're really going to see some cool things. As it's coming around, I'm going to stop it. Stop the turner. Let's just see. We're just pulling that. Oh my goodness, this is so awesome. This is really creating some cool effects. I'm going to let it go this way and then turn it off. Yeah, look at that right there. That's really neat. I think I am going to add a little heat. Let's just heat up the resin a little bit. We do need to pop bubbles anyway, so there's that. So I'm going to put it on low heat and high air. But this is what it looks like as I've got the turner arm off, okay? And I'm just pulsing it. I did have some that dripped over the top, but I can, I can trim that off. So that's all I'm doing. I'm pulsing it on and off as the glass is, you know, reaching the, the top. I did put some heat on it. I'm just pulsing it on and off. This is just something different I wanted to try. Yeah, I'm really liking this. I'm going to let it, I think I'm going to let it go. Um, let's try one more. I really want this part right here to move a little bit. I'm going to try some more heat. This is looking insane insane right now oh my goodness i want to try it again with some maybe some gold or copper oh you know i had that copper that's too late to add it now so we're going to put some resin on this guy and i just thought about how i'm going to do that how should we do it love up again so this is going to be tricky because I don't want to turn this arm off. And I probably should have put the resin on both at the same time. I don't know. We're going to make it work. This is my first time, so I will learn all the tricks of what to do and what not to do. So we're going to be kind of random. I want to put one like this. Oh, I think it's going to be too close to the top. It's definitely too close to the top. Here, run. But I I could do this too. There we go. Yeah, that was too much. Oh, 
Oh boy, I missed, totally missed that part. Look at that. I completely missed the other side of this glass. Y'all, this turquoise blue is absolutely amazing. moving as much as I thought it would, you know, by itself. Definitely, if I only had the one glass on here and not this other one, I probably could turn it off and just let it, let it run naturally. But I just, I don't want to do that because I don't want to affect this one. I'm liking how this one looks. So I'm going to try to put a little bit of white at the top and see what happens when I put my heat gun on it. I think definitely a little too thick on this one. Not enough resin on this one. We can adjust for sure. But I love the, the way this looks. This is really, really cool. I'm getting some little swirlies. Really neat effect. Okay, we just need to stop. We need to stop. You can overdo it. Definitely overwork it. I'm gonna let it go. Let's just let's just see. Let's just see what happens. I'm already coming up with a different plan for next time. I I like this. It's different, you know. And this reminds me more of like a stained glass um, effect that you would paint on with alcohol inks and a brush. I don't know. We're going to find out when we do the unveiling. I'm already coming up with a, a different plan. Stay tuned. Really love the, the different drips. So now, not bad for my first try. There are a couple of flaws, and I'll definitely work on that. I think there was just probably some residue in the cup. These are ones that I'm just keeping. This was an experiment. This is probably my favorite spot of this one. I do have some, some plans on modifying the technique a little bit. So not bad for my first try with this technique. I'm definitely going to try it again. I have a few tweaks, modifications that I'm going to make. And um, I got a little bit of cleanup to do, but quite pleased. It's just a different look than the standard um, way that you would turn a wine glass. This one's even prettier inside, you know. So, yeah, really like it. Thanks for watching. Hope you learned something new, and please consider subscribing. Bye, guys. <laughs>